Before we begin tonight, the crew of Penalty of Death Productions would like to make a bit of a disclaimer. The case in which we are about to present to you is muddled in a lot of rumor, speculation, and uncorroborated claims. As such, it can be difficult to separate fact from fiction. In addition, there is very little about this situation that has been covered by the English-speaking media, further adding to the confusion about this very strange case. Penalty of Death has done our best to sift through what is available in order to bring you the most objective and factual account that we could possibly offer. And with that said, let's begin. Facebook can be the home to the weird, wonderful, and sometimes very disturbing, as is with the case that we're about to dive into. Now, as far back as we could dig, there was a particular Facebook profile created on April 16, 2022, that went by the name of Natalia Ortiz. And this was the rather odd profile picture. The page would go on to make hundreds of posts over the next year, featuring photos of Natalia and this man, one Christian Montenegro. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Natalia is clearly a cruelly constructed mannequin, while on the other hand, Christian is a flesh and blood man. But in every photo, all we see, for lack of a better phrase, is man and puppet posing together as if they're actually a couple. So you might be asking yourself, what exactly is going on here? Is this some kind of a joke account? Does Christian have some kind of a paraphilia that he's sharing with the rest of the world? Well, that's the thing. You see, from what we could find, no one really knows. But let's start from the top and see what we can dive into and ascertain from this very unusual case. Christian Montenegro is a young man in his mid-twenties who lives in Bogota, Colombia, and that's literally all we know about him according to the sources. In some of the interviews that Christian has given, as well as independent sources, the young man once had a real-life girlfriend named Karen Moreno Rodriguez, and that he was with her for over three years. Over the course of the relationship, Karen started to notice odd and disturbing behavior in Christian. Some of these included alarming fixations on inanimate objects, such as dolls and puppets. Christian would often trail off into imaginary conversations with people that just weren't there. The tipping point seems to have come when Christian indicated that he wanted to start a family with Karen, but with one unorthodox stipulation. He wanted the child to be a living doll. Karen seemed to think that this was a joke and indulged him for a while until Christian planned out an entire fake baby shower on social media, telling everyone that Karen had given birth to a porcelain doll and that he was the proud father of said doll. As stated, this was the point of no return for Karen, and she simply ended the relationship with Christian. According to some, this led the young man into a deep pit of depression and the onset of what some have deemed to be a very severe type of schizophrenia. Now, it's not exactly known when, but a time after his breakup is when Christian created Natalia and started introducing the mannequin as his fiance. But Christian didn't stop with just Natalia. Two quote-unquote children were also thrown into the mix. According to some Colombian news feeds, Christian said that Natalia had two other children from some other relationship, that being Lady Maria, who was four years old, and Adolfo Daniel, who was seven. Christian has posted disturbing pictures of him even assisting Natalia in a supposed ER giving birth. However, if you think that this stops with a disturbed man living his life in a harmless fantasy, then you'd be wrong. When theorizing about this case, people seem to fall into two distinct camps. The first one is that Christian is simply making this all up for attention, and there is some credence to this theory. Some of the major evidence pointing to all this being a prank is that in many photos that Christian has posted, he is not only with his manufactured family, but also friends and members of his own family, who don't seem the least bit alarmed that their loved one is spending all his free time with three life-size dolls. Now, it can be argued that they're simply tolerating this behavior for the sake of Christian's mental health. The other camp is that Christian Montenegro is suffering from a few mental disorders, schizophrenia being the top contender. 
Several Colombian experts who have appeared on news media seem to think that Mr. Montenegro has a combination of mental illness and some kind of sexual paraphilia when it comes to Natalia. When some Bogota news outlets interviewed curious onlookers, many had expressed sympathy for Christian and did not want to judge him. Going back to some of the interviews Christian has given, he seems to indicate the reason for his so-called relationship with an inanimate doll. He says that the only way he could have the perfect, loyal, and supporting partner is by physically creating one. This way she could always be faithful and could literally never leave him. However, even with all that has been presented, this case gets even stranger if you can believe it, and brings a whole, and some would say sinister, supernatural angle to this entire story. There are reports and even video footage of Natalia and the children actually moving. Some reporters say they've gotten eerie vibes when conducting some of the interviews, and others could swear that in brief instances, they saw the dolls blink or even slightly move their heads. Take a look. Detractors to this say that Christian has installed tiny motors or apertures in the dolls to achieve this, or that even some of it may be a trick of the light or even careful editing. However, there is a precedent in some cultures around the world that believe that inanimate objects can be given a form of sentience. Most famously, some sects of voodoo make this very same claim. In fact, this notion has been explored in various films and television over the years. Films like Child's Play, Megan and Puppet Master come to mind. But most notably to us here at Penalty of Death is a famous episode of the original Twilight Zone entitled The Dummy. In the episode, a ventriloquist named Jerry Etherson is tormented and driven mad by his malevolent puppet Willie. It's explained in the episode that it was Jerry himself that enabled the dummy to become alive. Over the years, Jerry had poured words into the doll's mouth and in essence imparting a portion of his very own spirit causing the lifeless dummy to literally take on a life and a mind of its own. But we'll ultimately let you, the audience, be the judge of that. Is Christian Montenegro a clever prankster? A mentally ill man who suffers from acute loneliness? Or is there something else going on here? Because as many people will tell you, Love is truly blind. And when it comes to this case, who's to say, right? And with that, we'll see you next time. Have a good night.